Hello friends, my name is Freddy, and Mystery Movie Flicks presents The Fifth Element. The story begins in the year 1914, where we are shown a logistician inside the pyramids of Egypt who is accompanied by his assistant Billy. The archaeologist learns from the signs on the walls that the world is going to end very soon. There is a prophet who overhears these things and does not want the world to know them. That's why he mixes poison in their water, and the oncologist is the one to drink that water. That's why he says that we have made a big discovery today. That is why we should rejoice, and he is treading water. His assistant tells Billy to go get the champagne. Billy leaves from here, and then a huge alien ship comes over the pyramid from which the aliens come out. Who tells the priest that you have not done your work well? Prophet claims to have discovered the end of the world on his own. He understood the pictures and took one of them. A strange key is placed inside the wall, which opens the door. There is also an archaeologist who is surprised to see everything. But he is rendered unconscious. After this, Aliens goes to a special room where four stones are flying in the air. These are four different elements, and they represent all four. The fifth element is an idol shared by Earth, War, Terror, and Fire. The priest informs the aliens that if they take the fifth element, no one will be able to save the Earth. He says that the attack on the Earth will happen after 300 years from today, till then, we will bring it here again, and only then will the assistant of the archaeologist, Billy, come here, he is scared to see the alien on him. He points the gun, the priest dissuades him from doing so, and then lightning strikes. He accidentally fires a bullet, which causes the stone wall door to close. The alien has understood that he is trapped. He can't get out of here. That's why he gives the priest the key that opens the door and tells him to keep giving information about this to his future generations. He is killed by being pressed against the wall. With that, the aliens are four stones away from here. And they leave with the idol. After this, we are shown the year 2263, that is, when Alice took the stone and the fifth element with her. 350 years have passed since that event, and we are shown a fireball in space that is heading towards Earth. The president wants to destroy it, but there is also a priest with him. He says that you cannot destroy it. This is some kind of vampire, and an alien will very soon come here on Earth with the four stones, which are the four elements, and the fifth element, which is a statue on which our world can settle. This priest is a descendant of the same priest whom the alien had asked to pass on this information to future generations. But the president does not believe his words. That is why he sends his spaceship to the enormous living fireball. They know that there will definitely be some critters in it. They try to contact him, but they don't get any answer, and after that, they attack him at the behest of the president. And as soon as that living fireball blasts or its size increases even more, it destroys the spaceship by taking it in its grip. On the other hand, in the other part of the space, we are shown that the aliens, who had taken all four stones and the fifth element from the Earth 350 years ago, are now bringing them back to the Earth. But then small spaceships attack their big spaceship, causing it to crash, and after their creators destroyed the alien ships, their leaders came to a man named Zork, and says that we have completed the work you had given us, and soon our people will reach you with what you need. Zork actually works for the great evil that wants to destroy the Earth, and soon he will have all four stones and that fifth element. On the other hand, humans get the hand of an alien from that crashed spaceship, on which, after doing research and understanding its DNA, they make the body of a complete human being, which is named Lilo. Lilo, there is a lot of nervousness after regaining consciousness. She is an alien and that's why no one can understand her language. Although she now has a human body, she is not from this planet. The army generals walk towards her to talk to her, but she breaks the glass, attacks them, and runs away. When she comes out of the building, it is clear that the world has advanced completely. There are cars lined up all around, and Lilo skids off the top before the police can get to him. 
she falls on top of a taxi driver's cab. The name of the taxi driver is Carbon. Lilo cries out to Carbon in a panic state to save me, and Carbon takes his taxi downstairs to save her from the police and leaves. Before fainting, Lilo calls Corbin Priest Vito, and Corbin then brings her to Priest Vito. So when he checks her, he sees a special mark on her wrist, which he is surprised to see. He claims that this is the fifth element. That is, this is the same idol that the aliens took on in a dream 350 years ago. They thank him for bringing Lilo here and send him away. Lilo now regains consciousness, after which she transfers the knowledge of the past 100 years from the computer into her mind. The priest asks him, where are those four stones? Lloyd says that we already knew that something like this was going to happen. That's why those four stones have been left safe with a singer on a planet named Paradise. The priest is relieved to hear this because it means the Earth can still be saved. While there, we are shown Zork, to whom those creatures bring the four boxes for which Zork hired them all. Instead of these boxes, he gives them weapons, and now when he opens the box, they are empty. This enrages Zork. He tells the creatures that there are no stones in it. He says that you only asked us to bring the box. Zork gets angry and leaves. When the aliens press the red button as it comes out, they get blasted. In fact, Zork didn't tell them about it so they wouldn't have to press the red button. The same is shown to the army general, who reports to the president. And informs them that the alien ship carrying the fifth element with four stones did not contain four stones. In fact, they knew that someone might attack them. That's why they have left all four stones safe with a singer on another planet named Paradise. The president says that no one should know about this. Send someone there who can bring those four stones safely to the Earth. Their conversation is overheard by a friend of Zork, who has placed a camera on top of an insect and left it around them. That means now no one else knows where those four stones are. The general then goes to the house of the same taxi driver, whose name is Corbin, and says that we have booked two tickets in your name to Paradise Planet. You have to go there and get the four stones that one singer has and bring them back to Earth. Just then the doorbell rings, and it's on the door, Lilo. He knows that Lo will run away after seeing the general here and his men. That's why he hides them inside the fridge. When he opens the door, his priest is also there and points a gun at him. He learns that the general has given Corbin two tickets to paradise, and he is here to get them. That's why some loud police officers arrive at the door. That's why Carbon hides both of these as well. And the loud man means the policeman does not ring the doorbell at Carbon's house, but at the other's house because he has changed his nameplate to another's, meaning neighbor house. They are removing the boy who is present by holding him. Then some creatures came, attacked them, and took the boy with them. Actually, now they want to take revenge on Zork by getting those four stones because he has cheated them. His comrades have been killed, so that's why they take that boy with them, considering him Carbon. And now Carbon comes inside the house and takes out the priest and Lilo, but the priest attacks him from behind, renders him unconscious, takes his ticket, and leaves. When the government is satisfied, it opens the fridge's door. Where he had kept the general hidden, now the general is completely frozen. He leaves the general and his companion at the same place and goes straight to the place from which an airship to paradise is about to leave. There, the priest's son is going to paradise planet with Lilo, but then Carbon reaches there and says that he is Lilo's husband, so he will go with her. He is allowed to go with Lilo, and when the priest learns that the garment has gone with Lilo, he also takes one out. This is also the same gift that was given to my grandfather's grandfather 350 years ago, and the priest gives the key to his son and takes him to the airship. Carbon and Lilo are going to the place where the singer who has all four stones is. All of them reach a flying hotel by airship. Actually, at the same time that the singer has come to perform in this flying hotel, Zork has also reached here to get the stone at the behest of that joint living fireball planet, 
which is the Devil's Planet. And now the performance starts, where the singer is shown to be an alien, and while she is performing at the same time, the creature who wants to take revenge on Zork appears. They go to that singer's room and start searching for that stone box. The one with stones inside gets the box, and then Lilo attacks them, snatches the box from them, and comes out. She sees Zork in front of her, who takes her at gunpoint, Lilo throws the box at him and tries to run away, but he fires several bullets at her. She has escaped, but she has been injured. At the same time, all the creatures are shown attacking all around, and in this attack, the singer gets shot, and Corbin goes to the singer, who is taking her last breath. Singer says Lilo is injured, you have to take her to the pyramid as soon as possible, and all four stones are inside me. After this, he dies. Corbin takes all four stones out of him. That's what Zork shows us. The one who plants a bomb in this flying hotel and goes in his aircraft when he opens the box, however, there are no stones inside. Due to this, he is completely disappointed and comes back to the flying hotel to get the stone where he planted the bomb. Here, Corbin and a friend of Lilo see that there is a time bomb here. That's why she tells everyone, so there isn't chaos everywhere and Corbin can continue killing other creatures. At the same time, he reaches the place where the priest is caught by the leader of these creatures, but Corbin kills their leader, which scares all the creatures, and now Corbin reaches his flying objects with the priest by picking up the injured people. Goes. The same Zork is shown that stops that bomb, but the creatures have turned on another bomb here, which causes a blast. And the entire flying hotel gets destroyed. But Corbin manages to escape with his teammates. He goes straight to the pyramid where all four stones and the fifth element were many years ago. This puts Lilo in place of the fifth element and all four stones in their places. But nothing gets activated here. And only then do they remember that these four stones are the symbols of air, water, fire, and earth. That's why Corbin blows on one of those stones, which activates it. The priest who sweats on a stone also gets activated. His son puts mud on a stone, and that too gets activated, but now he needs fire for a stone. Corbin has a matchbox with only one stick. He burns it and takes it to the top of the stone, which activates it too, and the very next moment, Lilo's body emits a very strong light, due to which the evil planet, which is moving very fast like the Earth, destroys the Earth. Yes, it stops there and freezes completely. That is, it becomes lifeless. This means that the end of Satan has come. He has put all four stones and the fifth element in their proper places. Due to this, the Earth, which was about to end in a few minutes, has been completely saved, and with this, the film ends here. I hope you have liked this story.